Hey y'all, Joe here from Southern Coastal Cooking. Tonight, or to this evening, we're actually going to make some spinach and cheese stuffed chicken breast and maybe a pork loin. Um, really cool. I think I'm going to take some spinach and saute it down with some bacon. Uh, get some pepper jack cheese in there, stuff some uh, chicken breast and pork loin. Maybe take some more of that Noah's rub and put on there. Um, I think that'd be really good because this rub's not too sweet. Uh, didn't really have any sugar in it, so it's, it's going to be really good on this. So anyway, y'all just uh, hang out here with me and let's get to work on it. First, what we're going to do, we're going to kind of make our stuff in here. I'm going to take some traditional cut uh, sugar cured bacon, hardwood smoked. Uh, slice it up real good, cube it up, and we're going to basically use that to saute down some spinach. Here's what I've done. I took a pound of bacon and I kind of sliced up on the end pieces. We're going to use this to go in a pan to salt, you know, to make some oil grease to saute down that uh, the spinach. But the other bacon, the center cut pieces, I'm going to lay here on this tray. We'll bake that off in the oven. That way we can crack that up just like some bacon bits and put it in there and make that good uh, good spinach, man, that, that stuffing. So we got this bacon over here in the Dutch oven just sauteing, you know, just gonna brown up, render the fat and everything out of it. It's gonna take a little bit of while, so we'll just let this go. Now, meanwhile, I've turned the oven up to about 400 degrees. I'm gonna show you what we'll do with the other bacon. On this bacon, I'm gonna take some of Noah's rub. I just got it in this Killer Hall shaker. I love these shakers. I like this Killer Hall's rub, too, but We'll have any today. I'm going to take some of Noah's rub and we'll just kind of sprinkle that a bit on this bag and just give it a little bit extra flavor. Especially since this rub's a no sugar rub. And this will be good on this bacon. And it won't burn really. So we'll just put that a little bit down on that side of the bacon. And then we'll put this bacon in that 400 degree oven. Alright y'all, so we're starting to render all the fat out. You know, cook this bacon down. It's starting to brown up good. These bacon bits here are starting to crispy. That's what we're looking for. I'm going to scoop them out here in just a minute. We'll drain off some of this oil. Man, this is going to be good. Alright, so I got a lot of the oil out. And then we're coming in with the spinach. This fresh spinach here, y'all. It's going to be great. That. I'm just going to kind of stir that in. You just basically fry that spinach to get it to wilt, kind of. And I've got two more bags. I'm gonna do this soon. Just a little snap, just a little bit. I'm gonna throw the other bag in here. And man, man, it's gonna be really, really good. Can't believe how this smells. It smells fantastic. Like I said, we're just gonna stir the spinach around and just uh, let it kind of wilt, soak up a little bit of that oil, all that goodness there. Look at that. You see some of that bacon and everything there. Now I'm going to take some of these bacon bits we had, a handful of them, and just kind of drop them here in the spinach. You see that? That's almost wilted enough for what I want. So what we'll do is I'll, I'll take these out and put this in a bowl. Because that's just about perfect there, y'all. You see, we just got a little bit of oil on the spinach. Delicious. What we're going to do, I got that batch out. I'm going to drop that, some of the water out of there. You want water in the bottom of there. Mix them with the oil. Put a little bit more of this oil in here. Some of that bacon drippings. Just a tiny bit, just like that. All right. Maybe another handful of that bacon. Just like this here. All right. And I'm going to get the next bag of spinach. Bag of spinach will do the same thing. So here's what we're doing. Like I said, we're just stirring this spinach here too, and the oil and the bacon. Just till we get it all nice and wilted down like the other batch. Take it out and do one more bag. But now what I'm going to try to do is drain some of the water off this spinach. You know, spinach puts out a lot of water. So we're going to try to just drain some of this off. Well, that may have to put it in the strainer. But it's going to be good. All right, y'all. So I got that bacon out of the oven there. Turned out wonderful with that nose rub on there. Got this strained off. I'm going to bust this bacon up in little bitty pieces. I'm going to put that in there with spinach now. Y'all, so let's get this wonderful stuff ready here. What we're going to do, I'm going to go in first. I'll put the bacon in there. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle some of that in there. I think that's going to add a little depth to it. And a little bit, about a tablespoon, heap of tablespoon of minced garlic. And let me get my spatula over here. And let's stir this up, y'all. 
That's going to be a flavor party right there for sure. I like that. Oh yeah. So what we want to do is just stir this up. I'm going to add a little black, cracked black pepper. And then that'll kick it up a notch too. Oh yeah. That. So I'm going to stir this for a minute or so and just incorporate everything into this, this uh, wilted spinach. And then we're actually going to let this cool in the refrigerator because we're going to use this to stuff the meat here in a little bit. Y'all, so this mixture's had a chance to chill now in the refrigerator. Now I'm going to take some nice uh, sour cream here, pure and natural. Take about a, that's about a cup, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit more maybe. And we're going to stir that in here. Just to give this a little bit of creaminess. That just be really, really good. Stirring to the spinach. Alright, so let's get that stirred up there. It's going to be mighty nice. And we're going to put this back in the fridge, let it sit for just a bit, and we're going to prepare the chicken and the pork. Hey y'all, first we're going to start off with the pork loin. I'm going to use my sod blade light fillet knife for this. And I'm going to come in here, I don't know if you'll be able to see them turn you around here. And uh, you look on my side, I'm going to come underneath this here, and I'm going to start to kind of fillet this pork loin open here. Just to get the little piece of paper towel off there, that would help. But uh, I'm gonna do leave that little bit of fat on there. It'll be fine. But I'm gonna start to just cut this, just like this. And basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this down here and just kind of unroll it, as I like to say, as we cut, because we just want to flatten this whole thing out, this whole pork loin. That way, we can put the stuffing in the middle and roll it back up so to speak y'all it's gonna be really really good i've done this before it's been quite a while and sometimes you can get your your butcher to do it at the grocery store but they were kind of busy today when i went in so i didn't want to bother them but basically what you do is you make a cut and you go down about a half an inch or an inch and you cut underneath it you keep pulling back and you just watch make sure you don't cut all the way through the pork loin and that'll help to unroll. Then you flip it around, and we're going to do it the other way, the same thing. Show you, we kind of just cut into here. We start kind of pulling it this side. Cut over here. Everything just to get this whole pork one just to kind of flatten out. See there? Now, I notice I need to cut right down there, kind of toward the middle. Because we got a little piece that's a little bit thicker. You just keep going. It'll take a little bit of time, just be careful. And uh, it's not that hard to do. But like I said, you just want to get this whole log of pork just to kind of unroll for you. And this way you can get the most amount of stuffing in here. And you can roll it up to where it won't. Um, Want to unroll on you, want, everything won't just ooze out. See here, I'm gonna see where it's a little bit thicker? Cut just like that. Basically, what you'll end up with, you look at this, see how you end up, looks like a big fillet of fish, doesn't it? <laughs> so, what we're gonna do, another tremendous knife, it's nice and sharp too, it really helps. But we've got that, and we're gonna put the stuff in there, then we'll roll this guy back up. I'm also going to turn them over now that I've got them flat. Makes it a little bit easier for me to uh, take some of this fat off, or actually not the fat, I'm really worried about some of the silver skin. Let's get out from underneath there and uh, take some of that stuff off because that, that really just kind of gets in the way. That's not good stuff to eat. Um, real chewy, won't cook down. So you just want to kind of get clean the pork loin up. Again, this is something that your butcher can do for you if you've got a good butcher. Doesn't mind doing it. But today, like I said, they were just kind of in a hurry. I was too, just wanted to get out of the grocery store. So I'm going to do it myself here and just kind of trim this up. This will actually be the outside of the rolled up pork. Now what you want to do, once you got it cleaned up a little bit, take your rub, and I'm going to use some of that Noah's rub here. And we're going to sprinkle some of this rub on here. 
and go ahead it's a lot easier to do this see when it's flat go ahead and season it before you get this bad boy rolled up so we just sprinkle a little bit of rubble now like that All right get it get it coated and then we're going to flip him over okay just like that and uh, put a little rub on the inside actually just a little bit not too too much and uh, go ahead like that now we're gonna come on in here with the stuffing y'all it's gonna be really good y'all before I put the stuffing on here what I want to do is uh, I'm gonna put some cheese down I got some some pepper jack sliced cheese and that's gonna be a layer here let's see which way I'm gonna fold from this way I suppose so we'll put the cheese here, just like this, y'all. Hang out, know, cause go ahead and put this. Just lay it on in here. That's when we get some good stuff. Oh yeah. And yeah. Well, you don't want that piece of wax paper in there, that's for sure. So, got your pepper jack. Like that. Got a couple more pieces just in case. There. Come on. Get that off of there. Now let's go get some of that spinach stuffing. So now I got my spinach stuffing over here. Let's go ahead and just spoon spinach, bacon, sour cream stuffing. Go ahead and spoon some of that here onto the pork. Like that there. Don't get too too much. Because then we won't be able to suck set this sucker up. Look at that man, that bacon everywhere. That should be about good, honestly, y'all. I don't think we'll be able to fit too much in there. Now let me get this out of the way. Go ahead and put this all back off in the refrigerator. Now uh, let's try to roll this bad boy up here. Push this over to the side, just like that. We'll start, just to try to get everything just right. It looks like I'm making a, just a meat sandwich here. <laughs> so let's roll this up. Look at that. Oh yeah, and just uh, like I said, just end over end like this, and just hook it. That's what we want, y'all. Just like that. I'm gonna probably have to get some sort of something to hold it. In fact, I'm thinking something maybe butcher's twine or something like that. So anyway, just kind of stuff that up in there. Hopefully, that won't run out too much. Basically, we got this wonderful pork roll here. Now look what I've done. This is perfect. I had one of these uh, frog mats here and I rolled this up around it and then smoke can penetrate it and that crease is right up here at the top. So this is going to hold and not let everything just ooze out that crack. Go ahead and set this thing out here on the Yoder y'all. The Yoder going out here with some Lumberjack, the uh, Maple Hickory Cherry blend of pellets. I've actually got a pork butt that I had on from earlier and we're going to Lay this, uh, we got it running about 265 out here. We're gonna lay this bad boy right alongside of them there in the yoder. It's gonna be real good, y'all. All right, so I got him put down right down here. Y'all can see, we're gonna go in the yoder with him. I think this is gonna be real good. Like I said, this is gonna add good smoke to it. Everything else like that. Go ahead and set him in here. Right there, hold him by that frog mat. Set it right there, y'all. Oh, yeah, it's gonna go good, low, and slow. Right there. All right, y'all, now we're gonna stuff some chicken breasts with this wonderful stuff in here. I've already got one that I was just kind of training on here, but basically, what we're gonna do, let me show y'all here, is we're gonna take them, and we're gonna take the thick side of the breast, and we're gonna make a pocket with your knife here. You want to go all the way to the end, but you'll make a pocket. You're not splitting the whole breast open. Um, about two and a half inches, two inches deep. All right. Now, what you don't want to do is cut through the bottom of the chicken or through the top to where you know all the stuff will leak out. So that's what we got here. Got us a nice pocket here, and that's where we can stuff our contents in here. All right. So. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go with some cheese first. I've got some uh, pepper jack cheese here. A little block kind of. Now, cut this over here where I can get to it. All right. 
So push a few of these little blocks of cheese down in here. I hold everything open. And uh be real good. Come on now. It's hard to do this with one hand here. Trying to keep one hand fairly clean. Then I want to get some of the stuff in here. Alright, might as well just grab it now. And I'll push the spinach stuffing down in here. Right? And man, that's that's gonna be the stuffed chicken breast right there. With spinach, bacon, and cheese stuffed in the in the chicken breast. Just like that, y'all. And just have them stuffed, stuffed, stuffed. Now you could take baker's twine and wrap it around here, but my idea, I was thinking instead of baker's twine, is to take some bacon, baker's twine, butcher's twine. <laughs> Take some bacon and wrap around here. A couple strips of bacon, and I got some toothpicks, and we'll just do that. And that'll help to seal them up too. A um, couple strips of bacon on each one of these, y'all. It's gonna be real fine. Oh yeah, add even more flavor to the chicken. Push that cheese. Get back in there, cheese. Oh yes, sir. One more strip of bacon on this bad boy. Go over here and grab something. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle seasoning all of them before I wrap, stuff them or wrap them next. That's something I should have done. Put some more seasoning on here for the bacon. But, you know, this is going to be something else, y'all. This, this chicken just totally wrapped in this bacon, just like a bacon bomb chicken. And I uh, might not even need any toothpicks. Just have that sucker right there ready to go on the grill. Let me get the rest of these done, y'all. All right, so these are wrapped and ready. I'm gonna put them in the fridge for a little bit. I'm not gonna put these chickens on here till later. So they don't take as long to cook as the pork loin. All right, y'all. The uh, pork's been on there for about an hour or so. I'm gonna go ahead and put the chicken on. Took the temperature on it. It's all looking good. Everything's great. Go ahead and set the chicken on here. Hopefully y'all can see. Don't have that much room. Might have to give me another. Ready. We can scoop this out with some over here by the pork butt. So here's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and just roll this chicken right in there. Man, it's gonna be so good. So it's been a few hours. I think our yeah pork one is ready. Man, look at all this stuff. She says it's wonderful in here. Go ahead and take the loin out and uh, get inside. We'll unroll it here on this protein cutting board. And uh, man, that, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and just get in inside for right now. All right, y'all, this is done here. I'll tell you what, that frog mat worked wonderful. This thing just unrolled, and cheese didn't stick to it or nothing. This is great. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut into this bad boy. Look at that. Man. Oh, man, you can see the, 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 the uh, spinach and everything. That is awesome. Wow. Stuff of pork horn, y'all. Something else, Tony. Oh yeah, jack cheese, everything else. So uh, we'll go ahead and get a plate. All right, y'all. So we'll go ahead and give it a try. Set up here on the plate. Cut a little piece off. First, we'll try it without the. I tell you what, no, I'm gonna try it with the stuffing. Cut some of the stuffing off the back here. Look at this, y'all. That's something else. A big piece there. Go ahead and give this a try. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What? That's awesome. Got that creamy spinach in there with the pork. And that nose rub just did perfect job there on the outside. And that bacon, man, it's like having a whole meal wrapped into one with a nice side and everything. That spinach has still got a little bit of bite to it. And it still tastes of spinach in there. It's not just all cooked away. And it's really, really good, y'all. I'm gonna try that. Can't wait to try the chicken here later on. That's some really, really good stuff, man. Thanks, Noah, for that rub. I uh, appreciate it, y'all. Um, we we'll go ahead, I'll probably show you the chicken here in a little bit. I just pulled the chicken off the grill now. Oh yeah, want the yoder. Cut it open, see what's to it. Look at that, oh yeah. That looks wonderful. 
What we're going to do, let's try to cut this little piece off here. Make sure we don't get a toothpick in the mouth. But, uh, just taste the chicken itself. Mm -hmm. That is fine right there. Don't wait to taste it with the um, stuff in here. You know, slice somehow with that stuffing on there. So then hot. Uh, but uh ooh. wow. Bite everything all at once here. All right, man, piece of toothpick there. Man, that's good. Put the toothpick out, and that's 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 fine right there. With the uh, spinach and the cheese and everything else. Oh yeah, y'all. That is really really good. Can't beat that. Oh, that was really delicious. I hope y'all give that a try. Really. Uh, oh yeah. In the pork loin, on the chicken, everything. Even with that bacon, that crispy bacon, and then Noah's rub there. You have a good little kick. Thank y'all so much, y'all. Please uh, like my videos, uh, sub my channel, and also check out. I've got a new channel for those of you who are interested. It's a uh, kind of gun knife review channel. It's called uh, Magnolia Gun, uh, Magnolia Blade and Gun. Check it out uh, if, if you don't mind. I'll put a link to it and I'm going to do another video announcement. But thank y'all so much. God bless y'all. Have a good one.